Now this will cause the path to transmit only the program change information. And that's what's really cool. So once I set the M bank to off there, bank M, bank L set to off at the same time as well. And then this setting will only transmit the program change. Press enter there, and I'm good. Well, next I want to do is I wanted to see edit the knobs and faders. You can even do this for your um, expression pedal as well. Now, the knobs and faders in the pedal input in the MPD32 can be set to transmit control changes or aftertouch. So before we saw with the pads, it was note and program change. Well, with the faders and the knobs and the expression pedal, we can transmit the control change and the aftertouch. Now, we can also do the incremental of each of these functions, of course, obviously. Now, the control change. The control change refers to, of course, the MIDI channel number. I'll press uh, edit here. And we have control change and we have aftertouch. See that? Now, of course, I've got a fader. There's fader 1, here's fader 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So, I'm going to do it on 1, obviously. Make it easier for me to reach out and grab. And next, we have aftertouch. So, we can change these parameters. Of course, as I did before, all I got to do is press this little button in. And here we are. Let me describe program change first. Let's go back to push it in again. And here's control change. Now, control change refers to the use of the MIDI continuous control data. Now, the continuous control data, known as the CC, is just the MIDI message that's being sent and transmitted in a range of values from 0 to 127. Okay? And so, right here, we have that program change. And the control is right here, as you can see. Now next, the aftertouch. Aftertouch refers to the MIDI data sent when pressure is applied to that particular pad, we'll say, but this term is a knob, and, or to the pad, we'll say, and this fader will control that aftertouch. So, once that pad has been struck, while it's being held down, aftertouch is often used to control vibrato, like, you know, or volume, or other parameters. So, that's what that knob, this fader will control. The aftertouch, that information that's transmitted. Okay, so now, I'm going to do the control change. I'll press enter, here's control change. Move my cursor over, or I can change this, which is my MIDI channel. Of course, that's 1A or 16A, all the way up to B, 16B, as always. Now, my next field. In this field, you can switch, or you can actually uh, set which MIDI channel, control channel that is, the knob or the fader will transmit when it's used. So, I can select, it's going to be transmit 12, okay? That means that this fader 1 will transmit on 12. Its control is 12, okay? So whatever it's setting out, it's going to send out on that particular channel. That's the control change, you got me? Okay, good. Now, well, I can select any one of my channel. I can go from 0, there, as you can see there. all the way to 127. See that? So we can send 0 to 127 and before it was at 21. There you go. Right at 12, excuse me. Okay, there we go, right there. And it'll transmit out of A, but on channel 12. That's 12. That's the 12. So it's between 1 and 27 different MIDI channels. Not MIDI channels, but these are the control channels right there. Now, next we have our minimum and maximum. 